Goose's death winds up haunting Maverick for the rest of his story, shaping his character in both films. The sequel, Top Gun Maverick, delves into Maverick's guilt, revealing he hindered Goose's son Rooster from joining Top Gun based on Goose's late wife's wishes and a little bit of his own guilt. The sequel explores themes of grief, closure, and redemption, showcasing Maverick's journey to face his past and support Rooster along the way. Despite the logical attribution of blame, the film suggests Goose wouldn't have blamed Maverick, offering a poignant perspective on forgiveness, and more importantly, self-forgiveness. And it's just as good as the original, only this time it's shirtless football instead of volleyball. Times change, I guess. 